folks, Jake Hansey, Track & Wire Ranch. Hey, there's been some questions on how to set your reels up, what we're using for wires and everything else. So I'm gonna show you kind of what we do here. Um, this is a Gallagher geared reel. Uh, it's their um, main size that you can get. It is not the super wide. They do make one that's even wider than this. This one's very manageable. Uh, it does have some weight to it because it's geared, but as you can see, you rotate it one and it's gonna go a little more than that. So it's really fast to go. We love it, it has all the locking hub as you're going backwards, it locks in. And when you're reeling it out, it has a locking nub right here that actually locks and holds that so that this will fr spin freely. So it's really great when you're running wire out. The other thing we've talked about in some of our other videos is another feature that we really like is when you hook it on your fence or onto a post or anything else, it has a great size hook here uh, that's nice and big but also that it has a locking lug. So your cows aren't gonna push it off or anything else. It's not gonna activate. A big protective handle, it's got lots of plastic on here so you don't accidentally hit that wire, get yourself zapped. And so all you have to do is hit the little release, you release your lug. So when you buy one, this is how they come. They come with the standard handle on them. Uh, one of the upgrades that we do when we get this, This is the standard handle that comes with it. Uh, you can see it's got a great little um, pigtail design on it that hooks onto your wire. Uh, we upgrade them. When we put them on, we're gonna be using this one. This is a Gallagher combo gate handle. Uh, it's got a metal hook on the side and it's got the pigtail on the other side. The reason why we like this, uh, unlike the standard one, is if you tie on your wire on this and you hook it onto a fence, it's always dead. You, you have to use a jumper or something else to provide power. That's fine if that's your setup or you have to run this through the wire, uh, your hot wire on your perimeter fence for it to conduct electricity. What we do is we're gonna tie this on at the very end, we're gonna tie it onto this side, that electrifies this. When we wanna uh, ground out our fence to move it, to work on it, whatever, we can change around our hook from being this hooked onto our perimeter fence, we can unhook it and hook it on so the dead pigtail is gonna be on. So this works really good for us, gives us a little bit more versatility. So we're gonna change this out. Um, that's an upgrade that we do. When we end up buying, this is our turbo uh, braid, uh, 764. We love this stuff. It pulls really strong. It's super durable. It works great. We're setting this up uh, for a set of tumble wheels that we're going to do. Uh, and ultimately, we're going to upgrade and put two reels. So there's going to be one on each side. Uh, this turbo braid, really great product. We've you've probably seen it in some of our other videos. We're loving it. So this is how they sell it. Uh, you end up getting a big reel. It's 400 meters that are on here, and then you get an extra 100 meters. So we save on to this, we use it for our gates. If we're making something temporary, we're gonna end up using that. So we're just gonna cut that off, set it aside. So the big spool that comes, we'll remove this plastic. We'll throw that away after you get done with the video and all. If you get time, uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook. We're on Instagram. And we also, as you know, have our YouTube channel. So Paul, feel free to follow us on there. We're also going to put our link uh, directly to Gallagher that's in there. Uh, so we're just going to set that garbage aside. All right, one of the things I like about Gallagher products is they're uh, packaged straight for the consumer. So you know where the end is. It's not tucked in, it's not hidden, it's not secret, it's not going to unravel. So. It's gonna be on the end, you can see the little black. They put a little staple in it to hold it, so you can pull that out. And that's a little nail. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna stick that aside so it doesn't get stuck in a tire or anything else. Handle, we're gonna set that aside. You probably wondered why we got this, we're using this tub. There's actually a purpose behind this. So it's just a mineral tub. We got tons of them around the place. We don't like to reutilize stuff. So what we're gonna do is we just toss our whole entire spool, hold on to our end, we toss it in there. Onto our reel. Stick it in. There's nice little instructions that are right on here for you. So it tells you, handle goes to the right, wire's gonna go through, and then you're gonna tie it on. So we're gonna flip it, follow our instructions, so it looks just like it. We're gonna go through the center of our guide. We're gonna run it around both these conductive loops. 
and we like to run it a couple times so it makes a really good connection in here pull it tight if we're gonna just tie a slip knot so it'll latch down pretty good for us we're gonna work out some of the slack There we go. All right, so the nice thing is it's gonna hook onto our uh, fence. This is gonna provide our power. On the side of Gallagher reels, they have this nice little loop. So this is your electrifying loop. So when you connect your jumpers or anything else, you've probably seen in some of our videos, we actually connect right here. So we're not clipping on those uh, nice little alligator clips right onto our wire, not trying to get any wear spots or anything else. So once you get it on, the reason why we put it in the bucket is it rolls around nice and easy. So all you do is crank it. The nice thing with the plastic bucket is it kind of helps. We try to pay attention to it as it ends up going in. This will make a full, full, full bobbin. So just be aware of that. When you're putting stuff on, make sure that you're kind of going as you go. Make sure that it's tight. The bucket's gonna help a little bit with that. So just go. So we'll fall back up with you in a little bit. So stand by and we'll keep going. <laughs> Why don't you come on over here and we'll show and just video it as it rolls around in here. That's the fun. guys we got our full 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 reel so just so you know this is probably a little bit fuller uh, than you probably want on one of these reels just the same we like to run this heavy uh, we're gonna be running this with our tumble wheels we already know that we're gonna be pretty much not cranking it in and out a whole bunch as those tumble wheels are gonna roll right across our field so uh, yeah it's a great little deal uh, we got our very end here you slip it off and like we showed you, this is the standard one that's going to come with it. Got the pigtail on the end. You can tie it right on. Um, if you're going to tie it on, just go to the very end here. Wrap it around a couple times, what we like. And then we just tie her off. So that's how you attach that. Uh, I'm going to show you how we attach ours. So like I said, we're using that gate combo handle. It's got the metal connection on the one side, the pigtail on the other. So all we do is we go around the solid part here. So this is gonna conduct our electricity. We know that the more times that we wrap this, the better we're gonna be to transfer power. So we're gonna wrap that a couple times. Got a couple good wraps on there, gonna make some good connections. We're gonna try to shorten it down so that our tails is a little bit shorter. <laughs> there we go. You can always go back and cut this if you want cut that tail if you're concerned about getting yourself zapped. And all we're gonna do is tie it a second time here. There we go. So now we got our power is gonna co come down our line. It's gonna provide power right here. It's gonna wrap around and when we want to connect it to the fence we can just hook it on. If we're gonna move our fence or anything else we can grab hold of our insulated handle, unhook it from our fence, and then hook our pigtail on. Then in the case of our tumble wheels, it's still going to be up, still going to be uh, good to go as far as the fence being a, bar a visual barrier and psychological for those cattle, uh, but works really good. So all we end up doing, we'll roll in the last little bit. It holds, 
We're going to run our lock, go till it's tight. This is ready to transport, so you can move this around, you can do whatever. Your handle's right attached. Like I said, this is a little bit fuller than you prob a lot of guys probably want to go. Uh, there's concern of it bouncing over the edge if you get too full. So just be aware of that as you're kind of reeling it in, spooling it out. Just saying we want to run as much for our operation as we can on these reels. Uh, that way we don't have to pack extras. This whole thing loaded is maybe about 10 pounds, so it's got a little bit of heft to it. There's a lot of wire on here. so. Hope you guys have liked this. Once again, we're using Gallagher uh, Turbo Wire 764 that's on here. We're using the combo uh, gate handle. We're going to put the links in there for you guys. Once again, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. Thank you from Track and Wire Ranch and our great partners, Gallagher.